welcome to the Philips IntelliView Patient Monitoring Microlearnings. In this video, I will show you how you can switch to a different screen layout and how you can modify the screen's content. Let's get started. Your monitor comes with a set of pre-configured screens optimized for common monitoring situations. A screen defines which waves and numerics it displays and it defines the size and position of the waves, the numerics and the other elements on your monitor. You can easily switch between different screens during monitoring. When changing a screen, you only switch to a different layout. It does not affect alarm settings or a patient category, for example. To switch to a different screen, select the current screen name on the monitor info line or select the change screen smart key. Choose the new screen from the pop-up list. Let me show you some examples, but it can very well be that you have other available screens in your monitor. I choose big numerics. I can easily return to the previous screen if I want to. You may find some complex screen layouts listed in your monitor. These are screens designed for specific scenarios. Think about the screen for EEG monitoring or continuous 12 lead ECG monitoring. or monitoring a preemie for possible neonatal events. If you do not want to change the entire screen content, but only some parts of it, you can substitute individual waves or numerics or high resolution waves or trends. Just know that these changes cannot be stored permanently in monitoring mode. Let me show you how you can change a screen's content. Select an element or an empty place on your screen. I choose here in this example the temperature measurement. From the menu that appears you select change wave, change numeric or change high resolution trend. In my case I select change numeric at the end of the menu. Select from the menu what you want to display. I choose to display a timer. You can see the temperature is now displayed somewhere else on the screen. The changed screen is now shown with an asterisk in the monitor info line. If you open the changed screen menu, the changed screen is shown linked to the original screen and also marked with an asterisk. You can always return to the original screen if you want. After a patient discharge, the monitor's default screen is shown. Your modified screens are still available in the Change Screen menu. Only if you switch off the monitor and then turn it on again, the modified screens are erased from the monitor's memory and they cannot be recalled. Well, that's it for now. Check out our other micro-learning videos too. Thank you for watching.